I am Paul Lamar. This is a 3D drawing of the suspension mounted wings you will see on the following video. Suspension mounted wing struts are attached directly to the hub carriers so all aerodynamic downforce is applied directly to the tire contact patch. The advantage is the suspension springs are not com compressed no matter how fast the car goes. This keeps the tires in contact with the road better, especially on bumpy tracks. The wing is located laterally by four small leaf springs bolted to the wing spar. In this case, the wing spar is corrugated aluminum sheet. These cars were called Formula A or Formula 5000 later on. They had small block Chevys with 5 liter displacement. They had 500 to 700 horsepower and ran up to 8,000 RPM. They weighed under 1,400 pounds and were almost as fast as a Formula One car around a road course. The Formula One builders tried to copy this wing design. Two wings broke during the Spain Grand Prix on Lotus racing cars. Both wings broke on the same corner and the same number of laps. Colin Chapman was a brilliant race car designer, but he did not understand wing design and left the spars out. I designed and built 90% of the wings you will see in the race. I sold them to Carl Haas and he resold them with each Lola race car he sold. I also designed the wing mounting structure on the Chaparral race cars. The early struts were designed and built by Chevy R&D in 1966 and they failed at the first race in Bridgehampton, New York. I analyzed the problem, redesigned the mounting using a Watts link to provide lateral support. The video was professionally done and narrated by the movie star James Garner. He also owned one of the cars. Who even wants to guess? Not me. I just know that right this minute, my driver, Scooter Patrick, in car number 30, is moving under his own power. Lining up in back of the pack where they send all the did not qualifies like tardy school kids. And we're so far from perfect. Brand new tires that haven't been scrubbed in yet. No airfoil sticking up high to hold the back end down on turns. Suspension still not the way we want it, but, well, as I said before, didn't I, uh, we're sure as hell gonna find out? Pace lap is over and everybody's got the green flag for go, everybody except Scooter. 37 seconds behind, four and on now to catch up with the rest to get his own flag. Three quarters of a mile behind the leader, Andrea Diadamich. Come on, Scooter, let's get it on. Here comes Scooter Patrick and it's the green flag for him, really out to catch the rest of them. Diadamich taking the lead, Posey second, Winterstein third, and it's Davy Hobbs fourth. These Formula A cars are racing at Lime Rock for the second time this season.
75 cars, David Hobbs. He was third on the starting grid with a qualifying speed of 105 miles an hour. But Scooter, even without the airfoil, is turning it on, already passing slower cars. Scooter on the clock now. 57 seconds, 56, 57 again, and 55. Feeling out the car and finding his own groove. No question about it, Formula A is tough to handle. The cars are light, the weight's in the rear, and by the time you feel the back swinging around, it's usually too late to do anything about it. It's all finesse and artwork, like driving Grand Prix cars. And world champion Graham Hill pinned it down when he said, we're executing a very fine balancing act on the edge of disaster. Yeah, he's out. They're both out. Man, oh man. He is a lucky cat, I'll tell you that. What is that shining on? That's a wheel. He's upside down. That wheel's it's like you got side. lights on it. If anybody happens to be superstitious, that's lap 13. The race continues as the cars bunch up, but no passing will be allowed until the course is clear to the ambulance. It gives the other drivers time to think a little bit about this game. So far, four cars are out of the running with 17 still in. And by lap 25,